Friends, today we are going to discuss one more thought in our lesson, different ecosystem. So in the previous class, we discussed about what is an ecosystem and we done an activity for, ex for ecosystem. So we took a string, four sticks, measuring tape, lens, magnifying lens, we choose a place in our garden, we observe the different types of park and names. So there we understood that what is habitat, what is biome and what is an ecosystem. Today we are going to discuss about other part, other topic that is interdependence between the biotic components. What is our topic? Inter dependence between the biotic components biotic components so what is the relation between the living beings the meaning of that interdependence between the biotic components what is the relation between the living beings that we are going to discuss. So along with that we are going to discuss what is the relation between living and non-living also. In that only we are going to discuss. See here what is given in our textbook. Some of the questions are given there. If you read that you can uh, understand what is the relation between the living beings. Before that I am going to show to you a picture here. Here I am going to show you a picture. So you have to observe this picture. Then based on this picture I am going to ask some questions. So you have to answer to the questions you are able to understand. Okay. So did you see that picture? The first question what is he asking? What do the arrows in the figure indicate? So whatever the arrows are there in that figure indicates. You want to see that. So one organ is another organ. One organ is dependent on another organ. That is an indication you can find out from that picture. Next, trace the path from the grass to tiger. So from the grass to tiger, if you observe that, what is the path? Grass. Grass eaten by rabbit. Rabbit eaten by wolf. Wolf eaten by tiger. So whatever the way is there, the path you want to observe there. Then, on how many organic is rabbit dependent? The what does the rabbit eat means on that organs, on which organs rabbit depend and it gets food from them. So see here, rabbit depend on grass itself. Okay, grass eats. Then, how many organs depend on rabbit write their names? So rabbit eaten by rabbit eaten by wolf, snake, eagle or tiger. So these are all rabbit is a food for those organisms. You have to observe in that table. So this is. So what we are going to know here, what we are going to understand here. We know that there is a feeding relation between the plants and animals. We know that. So between the plants and animals there is a relation, is a feeding relation. We depend on the plants, plants depend on us. So how do the plants depend on us? That I will tell you. So right, here what we are going to do, among with uh, his, this, we can see an interdependence between plants and animals for space, reproduction, shelter, etc. as well. See here what is the camp competition between the plants and animals. So plants require place, animals require place. Plants require food, animals require food. So we, we need shelter, they, they need shelter. But we won't say shelter, the space is uh, shelter for them. So they have want to reproduce and animals also want to reproduce to continue their species. 
So there is a competition between those arga names. So there is a relation between the uh, plants and animals. What is the relation here? Okay. So what it says is we need food. Plants also need food. How do plants get their food? Plants absorb sunlight. Green plants absorb sunlight. They prepare their own food and they themselves prepare and they do to other organisms also. So we depend on another organisms. We depend on other organisms. How we eat uh, rice. Rice we get from the plants. Plants can prepare their own food by using the sunlight. So directly plants uh, depend on uh, sunlight. Indirectly we depend on the sunlight. So sunlight is a major source for all the living beings to provide the food. Without sunlight, plants cannot prepare their own food. So without plants, we cannot get food. So for example, tiger. Tiger won't eat grass. But tiger eat some of the herbivores which eat the grass. So they eat grass. Grass can prepare their own food by using the sunlight. So tiger also depend on sunlight. So sunlight is a major source for all the living beings to provide the food. So here, what is the concept? So light transmission, light energy convert into chemical energy and it transfers to each and every organism. So here there is a relation between the plants and animals. So there is a relation between the non-living beings also. So plants absorb sunlight. So sunlight, water, soil, these are non-living beings, abiotic components. So plants and animals, biotic components. So biotic components depend on abiotic components. Living beings depend on non-living beings for their preparation of food. So to uh, obtain the food, they depend on abiotic components. They depend on non-living beings. So without the relation, biotic and abiotic components, there is no food for all living beings. Without independence of the each other organisms, so plants and animals, they also won't get their food. So based on this, in an ecosystem, in an ecosystem, living beings divide as three uh, types. So what is given in our textbook? At the last level, three levels uh, divided an ecosystem. So the three levels, first one is a producer, second one is a consumer and last one is a decomposer. What is the first one? I am going to write it. Producers. Three levels are there. Producers. You know this word very well. What is or what are, who are producers? Who provide um, money to make uh, pictures in that uh, silly language that we call as product. So here, who provide the food? These are called producers. So all green plants are known as producers. So producers at the least level means the first level of the uh, food chain we call it. So whatever the uh, picture which we are look, which we looked here, so that uh, in that interdependence is there. So one level we call as a, one line, one path we call as food chain. So all together. All together that is called full web. Here in the full chain, producers first, second one is a consumer. The what is second? Consumer. Consumers. What is the meaning of consumers? Okay. Here consumers, consumers means consuming, utilizing that. So plants prepare their own food, animals utilize this one. So these are the producers and these are the consumers. The last one. The last level we are calling as decomposers. The third layer, decomposers. The third level is called decomposers. What is meaning of decomposers? When the living beings, when the living beings died, which decompose, which is decomposed by the microorganisms that are organic body decomposing the change as nutrients and that's uh, mainly with the soil. Inside the soil all the nutrients again retain. So that's why the plants are producers. Okay. Animals 
the year secondary primary secondary and tertiary consumers are there primary means herbivores secondary means carnivores tertiary means omnivores so grass eating flesh eating both eating grass and flesh so three types of consumers are there primary secondary tertiary tertiary consumers so there are three types of consumers we can observe here so these three consumers they depend on the producers and whatever these primary consumers uh, producers are consumers so when they die with the help of microbes they decompose and the change as a wine to organism which are mingling with the soil means it is uh, dissolved inside the soil and that nutrients develop the soil but it again their plants can grow so these are the three levels we can see in a food chain so one depend on another one so this is a food chain for example i am going to give a grass grass eaten by rabbits okay rabbit eaten by tiger so grass producer primary consumer and the tertiary consumer last one decomposer decomposer so when it die it decompose when it die it decompose so start with the producers and with the decomposer so here this is the level we can see inside the food chain so it is called as food chain the interlink between the food chains are called a food web so it is food chain it is a food chain the group of the food chains we call as food web so food chain and food web so the picture which we look at the at the first time that is called food web there is a interrelation between the Uh, living uh, organisms along with the living organisms non living organisms also present there so living organisms and non living organisms interrelation is there with the help of those organisms and with the help of abiotic components the living beings can continues their life in an ecosystem this is the conclusion of this session so here what they teach once again i am recalling this uh, short brief the first one what so What is what is the interrelation between the living components? So one organism depends on another organism. So whatever the picture I showed to you in that the one organism depends on another organism. So some questions are given there. If you read that based on that picture, you are able to write answer. So rabbit depends on grass. On the rabbit, the tiger and wolf are other organisms are depending. So interdependence. So this is example for that. There is a relation. Along with that, along with that. so plants how do they get food there is a question plants get food by using the sunlight so plants are the living beings which are depend on non living beings so there is a relation between biotic and abiotic soil water sunlight some of the air some of the gases so these are abiotic components so by using abiotic components plants can prepare their own food they themselves replace and they do to other organisms also so animals depend on plants plants depend on sunlight so indirectly oh, carnivore organisms also flesh eating organisms also depend on sunlight because plants utilize that uh, sunlight and they prepare their own food that due to herbivores herbivores eaten by carnivores so that's why the carnivores depend on the sunlight indirectly so plants depend on the sunlight direct so whatever it may be the sunlight is a major source for all the living beings so here based on the food mode three levels are there in an ecosystem so first is the producer second one is a consumer and third one is a decomposer so producers are almost all green plants they prepare their own food consumers primary consumers grass eating uh, secondary consumers flesh eating tertiary consumers grass and flesh eating both so carnivore omnivore herbivores whatever we discussed in the previous classes herbivore primary carnivore secondary omnivore tertiary so like that consumers are there and finally whatever the organism after certain years they should die so that decomposed by the microorganisms the decomposed substances dissolve inside the soil and it develop the soil fertility there the plant grows more and more so 
decomposers are also known as cyclers, recyclers. They replenish the nutrients inside the soil. In this way, we can observe interrelation between the organisms in an ecosystem.